The water was clear and the weather was calm and I was enjoying myself fishing from the shore. Nearby were thickets of red mangrove trees where schools of small sardines hid from predators. And suddenly I felt a strong burning sensation in my legs. Ouch, I couldn't see anything. It was such a weird feeling as if the water itself was stinging me. Wherever I moved, something burned me everywhere and I experienced this nasty pain. What is this weird stinging water? I got scared and immediately got out of the water. It's a known fact that box jellyfish can be found on the beaches of Antigua, but this was most likely not the case. The wounded places burned and ached a lot. I always have a bottle of brilliant green antiseptic with me as a first aid, so I applied it. The antiseptic didn't do anything though. Table vinegar would have been a much better remedy if it was a jellyfish, but I didn't know that it was a jellyfish. And how could I leave this beautiful beach without knowing what happened to me? So I put on my mask and I put my head under the water and look what I found. Another amazing sea creature called the upside down jellyfish or Cassiopeia zamachana. This jellyfish can sting you without even touching you. Lab experiments with poisons of Cassiopeia have shown that they have hemolytic, cardiotoxic, and dermonecrotic properties. And that is, if you're exposed to an access, they can spoil your blood, poison your heart, and destroy your skin. These jellyfish can secrete large amounts of stinging mucus that turns seawater itself into a stinging liquid. Popcorn-like mobile grenades of slime can float on their own. A human swimmer who might stumble upon such a place is quickly covered in burns despite not touching anything. Research by marine biologists show that jellyfishes use microscopic harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. Nematocysts can sting even outside the jellyfish's body or its tentacles. In Cassiopeia, however, hundreds of nematocyte cells assemble into a larger slimy structure called cassiosomes. They are small asteroid-shaped blobs and all the protruding bulges are filled with nematocysts. In addition to nematocysts, the surface layer contains whip-like structures called cilia. It is these motile cilia cells that launch the cassiosomes in a slow, kind of clumsy dance across the water. Researchers now know that cassiosomes can swim on autopilot under their own power and survive for up to 10 days before breaking down. They use symbiotic algae, so a xanthale, or dinoflagellates, stuck inside cassiosomes as a solar-powered battery. Upside-down jellyfish use this unique mechanism for protection and nourishment. These beautiful brown, green, blue, and white jellyfish are found amongst mangrove roots in the southern Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and other tropical waters. Cassiopeia pulsates gracefully through the water, landing upside down on a muddy sediment to expose its symbiotic algae living in their tissues to the sun. The golden green photosynthetic zooxanthellae are found on the inside of the jellyfish bell and provide them with food and nutrients. This is why Cassiopeia lie upside down in shallow water, where there is enough access to sunlight. Cassiopeia lying on the bottom look like an anemone. They don't really look like a jellyfish. In addition to the nutrients Cassiopeia receive from the symbiotic algae, it can also spit out clouds of mucus filled with cassiosomes, which are filled with nematocysts. Small crustaceans like brine or shrimp or other plankton die instantly upon contact with the stinging cells and slowly sink to the bottom right into the jellyfish's mouth through their gripping tentacles. Imagine if we could just spit out our teeth and they would go get food for us. Fortunately, Compared to other jellies, Cassiopeia gives off a relatively mild sting. I was very lucky that it wasn't a Portuguese man of war or any other jellyfish. My wounds healed quickly and the next day I had almost nothing left. Now I have to watch out for this upside down jellyfish before entering so I don't get trapped in the stinging water again with this deadly slime, especially when I want to snorkel or swim in the mangroves next time. <laughs>